Welcome back into Browns Live, powered by First Energy, Nathan Zagura, Joe Thomas, and the man, head coach of your Cleveland Browns, Kevin Stefanski, joining us once again as we turn our attention to the visiting Washington football team in week three. And coach, we know that defensive line is fearsome. Five first rounders. They've already accounted for eight sacks alone. The team has 11. I'm sure that you're putting a plan in place to deal with those guys up front. Yeah, you have to. And the tape jumps out at you. You turn it on, there's just two games worth, but they're harassing the quarterback. And even when they're not getting sacks, they're applying a ton of pressure. So we got to be smart about how we detail this game plan. We got to be smart about how we call it because uh, that's a very, very good front. Coach, on this show, we like to engage with our fans and take their questions. And today's best fan question of the day, powered by First Energy, comes to us from Reddit user Scarlet and Gray Days. And he wants to know, what will the cornerback rotation look like with Greedy and Tom returning? Yeah, I think what we're trying to do is is maximize the talents of the players. So there's going to be opportunities for all of our guys to play. Uh, with the guys we've got coming back from injury, what we don't want to do is just have them go uh, 100 miles an hour right from the jump. So we're confident in the depth that we have at the, at the position. So we'd like to roll some people, uh, move guys around, and really just make sure that we're being multiple in the back end. Coach up front dealing with some injuries, but poor Augustine has really stepped up. And I got a chance to talk with him earlier this week. And he said, you know, I was worried this new coaching staff hadn't gotten to see my work ethic. And I know work was the first word you told this team. Seems like a match made in heaven, a hardworking guy, and it's showing up on the field. Yeah, you hit it. Uh, we did see that hard work ethic throughout the spring. I mean, he, he was videotaping his workouts and sending them into us. And he, he was getting the work in. And uh, that's something that Porter's all about. You, you see him in the weight room, you see him in the meeting room, you see him out on the field. He's just constantly moving. And uh, he's just a guy that keeps coming at you. And it showed up on the game field. And really not surprised, that's what he's been doing in practice. Coach, how important is it to have a guy like Porter Gustin in each position group room that can kind of set the standard for how they come in and work every single day? Yeah, that's a great point, Joe. And uh, there, there are a bunch of guys that were here already that are smart and tough. And then we went out in the draft and in free agency and we've got a bunch of more. And you mentioned Porter, and, and in each one of those rooms, you know, there's a guy that kind of sets the tempo. And I, I pulled our rookies aside about a week ago, and I said, "Find that guy in your rooms. Find that guy, and and I'll help you. I'll tell you who it is if you don't figure it out already. But you know, be around that guy. Watch how he works. Watch what he does in the classroom. Watch what he does in the weight room, because it's so important with these rookies how they're broken into the NFL. And we're fortunate where we have guys in each one of those rooms, like you alluded to, that they can follow." Coach, Joe was diversifying earlier, went from the tackle question in the opening segment to the DB question, and I think for all of our DBs, you've got to be very aware of Terry McLaurin. He's accounting for 46.4% of the Washington football team passing offense. That's the highest percentage of any player in the NFL. How do you plan on slowing down the former Ohio State Buckeye? Yeah, he's outstanding. Uh, I mean, really a good football player, and, and they, they make sure that he's a focal point of their offense. So. You got to have a plan. You can't just do one thing. Uh, you got to kind of be multiple with him. But we, we got to know where 17 is on every single play. They'll move him around the formation. Uh, they'll put him in motion. So we really have to be hyper aware of where 17 is. Hey, Coach, the rushing attack last week was really impressive, the way you guys were able to get both Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt involved. How does that look this week against a really tough Washington defensive line? Yeah, Joe, we're going to try, try to be multiple again. I think what you saw the other night was – different run schemes hitting, uh, you know, different, obviously with Nick and Kareem, different personnels. So I, I think there's there's beauty in, in the uh, multiplicity of the rush attack. Uh, you know we're going to hang our hat on a few different types of runs, but if you can just kind of be multiple, I think it keeps the defense on their heels. Coach, thanks so much for joining us, and good luck on Sunday against the Washington football team looking to take the Browns to a great start at 2-1. and one.